All right. Hello, everyone. This is David from goldstartool.com. But we have somebody behind the camera that is her first time. So, and we have Kathy. So this is the DDL8700. You don't put my face. You just come here and zoom in and out, right? Very nice. Have you ever had the iPhone before in your life? Yeah. Yeah, she did. Okay, very nice. I'm just kidding. So Kathy bought one of these things from a couple of years ago. Before COVID, she said, but she never took it out of her garage because she didn't know how to work with it. So I have so many, many videos online on YouTube, but I told her she's nearby. I invited her to come in and I have one of these sewing machines that is going to a customer. And you guys seen many, many videos of the DDL8700. But what I'm gonna do today, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna ask her what question she had, concern, question, whatever you have. And we're gonna use her voice. And she said, it's okay to use her voice, you know. Is it okay? Yes. Yes. All right, very nice. So go ahead, Kathy, tell me. Number one, and loud so she could hear you. Yeah, well, first of all, threading. Threading, okay. <laughs> threading, we have two types of threading here. I'm gonna get up and you could come close up and I'll show you. She, a lot of people have threading. There is two thread um, trays here, all right? You put the thread here. This is the setup of the, I'm gonna go behind you right here. Threading is very important. Most of the time when your sewing machine is not working, stitching, it's because of the threading, okay? So this one is for the, I'm gonna leave this for the bottom one. And this is, I mean, this is for the bobbin one. And this is for the uh, actual threading, right? So the bobbin uh, one always goes on the right. Yeah, yes. it's the closer one. Uh, yes, but otherwise they will crisscross. Okay. Okay. You see, this is very important. Don't just get the needle and put it right here. It's not gonna work. Okay. You gotta come from the top. All right. I'm gonna put it through. All right. Now, um, for the bottom one. Okay. And you could always zoom in and show them. It's going to go through this thread guide right here. You see? Right. I have a tweezer, but it's here. Goes through the hole okay. and goes inside the tension right here. And the tension right here is really what gives the bobbin, you know, when you turn the bobbin, is it hard or soft inside? How much thread goes in there? I usually leave it the way it is and check it out, okay? Meaning that the more tension, if you lose, it's gonna be all fluffy and loose, the thread inside. You want it not too hard and you don't want it too, you know? And then you keep your thread here. Now, there are a bunch of bobbins that come, and one, one, one bobbin that comes with the machine. Okay, now. Kathy told me that her bobbin winder didn't work. And I know exactly what she means. Um, and I have a video on that. When you put your bobbin in there, sometimes the bobbin doesn't fit. It's loose, right? So all you have, in our case today, this is perfect. But if it's loose, if you put your bobbin in there and the bobbin, the window turns and the bobbin doesn't turn, all you have to do, put a screwdriver. One of these is a screwdriver. Put it inside the slit. You see that one? And just, with your hand. To open it up a little. Widen it. Okay. And then you put your bobbin in there and done. Then you put your bobbin winder, the thread, the way I do it. Okay. Mm -hmm and let it go, and you go like this, right? Done, very good. Now, we're gonna get to this one. This is the most important part of the um, sewing. From the top, you already got the thread. See this one? You gotta make sure that this doesn't happen. Can you show that? See, sometimes the thread gets stuck. You don't want this to happen, I'm gonna Make sure, okay, put it back down. You gotta make sure when you pull the thread, comes out easy. You could, could come behind me. See, what a nice husband you have. 
He is nice. He is nice. Okay, very nice. Beautiful. Okay. So a lot of you guys recently that bought my sewing machine, the Juki, didn't come with this. And you called and said, where it is? It's sometimes, it's funny. Sometimes you have it in the box. Sometimes you don't have it in the box. You know? But if you have it in the box, then the way it works, you put it through the little hole in there. You see this thread guy, you have a hole in there. Oh, my eyes, come on, come through. You pull it up, put it inside, inside this tension, all right? I'm gonna just pull all this thread out, right? So it came in, right? And it went up, you see that? In, up. All right, I'm gonna just cut the thread. Okay, now make sure you see that, right? Okay, now, in, side the, this thread guide, out, and in again. Make sure it doesn't get tied up, right? Right, absolutely. Around. Then, inside this thread guide, right here, you see? Hold it, my hands are, you see, inside there. Then down, inside. Then up, one full turn, and this is the most crucial step of threading the sewing machine. Take up spring. You see, go on top of the take up spring and pull it down. You see, it has to be like this. You got that? Yeah, I see it's pulling the tension. You're going to be a YouTube sensation soon. You're going to have oh. millions of followers. <laughs> All right? You're going to, like this, put the thread below the fork, what I call this fork, I don't know what they call it, and then pull it up. All right? And then it goes inside the take-up lever. We got the take-up lever, and you then, see? And then, then yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me one second. When you pull this, it has to be the tension. If it's not, the t you don't have a tension, then it's not gonna show. Now question. Does that lever need to be up or does Doesn't it matter. This lever is gonna be okay. moving up and down. Great. This lever is the one that pulls the thread through. Great. So at any point, it's any, 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 the, any way that is there is gonna be, you know. Great. Then you're gonna go, can you see this? Or you're gonna go the other side, okay? Then it's gonna go inside here. I know you could actually put this one in there too, you know, the way I did it. In, out, doesn't matter. Oh, you come back through that, yes. okay. And I put it through this tension. Make sure you put it through this ten, uh, thread guide down there, okay? Up the thread, the needle. There is a tiny thread guide down there. Make sure that it goes through that one too, mm -hmm. right? Out. The needle goes in, the thread goes inside from the left. Left. This go in, holy God. Inside, now. You have any questions so far? The flat side of the needle is... There is no the flat needle. side. There's, oh, it's just round. Good, so just yes, I'm gonna tell you what it is now. Okay. This needle is not the universal needle that you use on a home sewing machine. Okay. Does not have a flat side. It's a round, okay? But how are you gonna find out what side? There is two sides for it. One has a dimple, and the other one has a slit. If you put your finger in there, you see? Right, I see that. There is a slit, right? Uh-huh. You could see it. So it goes from left in, to the right. Okay. To the left, yes. That's the way you know it's in the that's right. right way. And there are many, many different numbers of, uh, for you guys at home and for Kathy, the number for this machine needle is DBX1 or 16X257 on our website. And they come from all the way from size nine to size 18. If your machine is 87-7, it's 16X95, I mean 8700 H, the heavy one. The needle is 16X95, and you could go all the way to size 21, all right? Okay. Any other question? No, I just bought some needles. I'll make sure that- Yeah, you got it, you got dry spine. I'm gonna make sure you buy more needles. Okay, good. Now, <laughs> plates. This plate that you see here, we sell that five different types. This machine, even though it's a regular uh, weight 
sewing machine, you could always change the needle plate and the feed dog. Okay, and of course there are, I have hundreds and hundreds of plates, I mean uh, feet for this machine. Right. But you see the eye of the plate mm -hmm. and a feed dog, and I have other videos. You could always change this, takes you two minutes to change. Okay, okay? now, when you do this, you wanna go to the bottom. You wanna put your oil, you know, I'm gonna pull it all the way. Okay, I like this, I'm gonna put it back. Okay, pass How come this is not going back? Tight. Something got stuck. I don't know. All right. I don't know what got stuck. I broke something. I don't know. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. This is inside the machine. This is the oil pan where the oil goes. When you buy the machine, before you start the machine, when you have it at home, even when I send it to you assembled, I do not pour this inside. You pour the whole thing inside. The, all the entire oil, and it's gonna go to the high level. Right here, right here, all right? Very nice. Then you open this baggie that comes with the machine, this baggie, all right? The magnet, there's a magnet inside that is half broken. It came like this from Juki, but it doesn't matter. You put this right here the magnet and what it does is when you break a needle it's gonna travel all the way now down it's gonna get stuck to the magnet and it's not gonna go through this pump this is an oil pump okay, okay. every now and then you want to make sure that here is clean okay. because you have a lot of um, fabric and cut thread and lint right. goes inside and you want to make sure that this stays clean you could clean it with WD-40, nothing is gonna happen to it, okay? And how often do you change the oil when it's very dark? Because you're gonna get a very clear oil. When you see this is dark, the oil is dark, you wanna change it. And how you change it? Open this up. Of course, you have to have a container underneath. Open this screw and the oil comes down and then you do whatever you wanna do with the oil and then you clean this up. Again, you could put WD-40 or uh, degreasers. A spray degreaser, spray then clean it up. Yeah. Put back on, close it. You need oil, we have a lot of oil. Okay, we sell it. A lot of people, when they get the machine to assemble it, they think this is a uh, nothing, they throw it away. This is an umbrella, very important part of the sewing machine. It sits here. And this, the knee lifter right here that you have, mm -hmm. You see, this is a knee lifter. The knee lifter is connected to this umbrella right here and push up the lever right here and the lever makes sure the foot goes back up. All right? Okay. So this is part two. For people that wanted to know how many needles come with the machine, you get two needles and one bobbin that I put here. It's always good to buy other extra needles than we have. You see, can you come close up to this? Maybe you could do this. I want people to see, can you come? Let's see if we could put this on number two. Uh, okay, good. You see this one? I think you guys could see maybe there is a dimple here and there is a slit back here. I think it's very hard to see. But so the dimple is inside, the slit is outside. Two needles you get, one bobbin, you get a magnet. Now, I'm gonna go and talk about the lower thread. Now I think you gotta come this way, please. Hello, okay. Here, this is a bobbin case. Make sure when you want to take the bobbin case out, the needle is not down. The needle has to be all the way up, not engaged. There is the latch, you pull and release itself and you take it out. You see that? Yeah, out, do. done. Easy. Easy, easy speed is my son says. <laughs> so this is the bobbin. Let's say when it's full, you want to put it in, doesn't matter this way, doesn't matter this way. Anyway, whatever you want to do, as long as you buy it from Golden Cutting and Sewing Supplies, doesn't matter. I'm going to take care of you. Like this lady came from, did you even buy your sewing machine from me? I bought it. Yeah, yes, I know. I'm I just kidding. Even if you don't buy it from me, you could call me. No, All I right. Kathy is a beautiful name. Here we go. Bobbin, doesn't matter this way or this way, put it in. 
You might want to listen too because I'm sure she's going to forget. I'm yeah. trying to. I yeah. want you to have her go through that stuff by yourself. I know, I know. Yeah, she got it. But if you want me to let her go, it's going to cost her a lot of money. Yes. <laughs> All right. So we got the thread. We're going to put it through this slit. You see that? Yeah. And then you're going to hold the bobbin and you're gonna make sure this comes and goes right beneath the spring. You see this? Yes. Now there is a tension here. Kind of locked. Okay, there are two tiny, tiny screws here. And that's why you have this tiny other screw that you have here. Not the first one, oh. Oh. Thank you. Not this one. This one is the one that holds the spring in place. The second one is the screw that adjusts the tension. We've got a tension screw, whatever. I do not usually touch this, nothing. But some people, when they receive the machine, when they wanna do, obviously, a thicker um, thread, nylon, harder thread, and they want it to go through this, you need to have more room. So all they do, they adjust this screw. They give it half a turn open or half a turn closed. Okay, now, this one is good, the tension is good. I'm gonna take this, you see this? Right here, the opening? Yes. It's gonna be top, on the top. Meaning, open this latch, go here, put it in there. Is the needle up, to make sure. Yeah, the needle is up. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna open the latch, I'm gonna put it right in there. You see that? Yes. You turn it and... So it's straight up with the bottom yeah, of the Yeah, and it's not gonna come out, yes. Okay. What, you don't need to do anything, you don't need to touch anything. Some people get this, you, and what do you call the wick? Uh -huh. You don't cut this, somebody has cut this, you don't cut it. This sits inside the oil and also, you know, sucks the oil up, okay? You let this go, it's okay right here, you could cut it if you want. Okay, now, put it back down. Very good. You do not need to do anything else. No oiling on top, no adjustment, do not touch this, do not touch anything. You don't need to do anything. Okay. To a start, any questions so no, far? No, very helpful. Do I make a good teacher? Very good, thank good. you. <laughs> All right. Very hold helpful. this for the first, you don't even have to do it, but if you want to do it, you could hold this, pull, Turn the pulley toward yourself. You see this? Yeah. It's gonna go down, it's gonna come back up, and it's gonna bring you up the lower thread. You see that? Yep. Get the tweezer, move this one out. All right. Now, there is a knee lifter right here that we talked about. Right. When you get the knee lifter, it doesn't look like this. The way of the, for the purpose of shipping, they the, the way they do it, they the the this knee lifter is all the way up. All you have to do is open this, open the top one right here, and adjust it the way you want. Okay. If you're tall, some people want it up here. Yeah. If you're short, whatever it is, whatever the case might be, right. you could adjust it from here. You see, you could adjust lower, higher. Yeah. You could adjust this, open it up this way. This, you could have this part come out more, go more inside, whatever you need to do. Same thing with, the machine is already assembled, right? Yes. You want it assembled yes. from us. So we did a good job, we already did. But for people that are assembling this, by the way, I'm showing you a DDL8700 Juki, but if you have a new tech, if you have a console machine, if you have a um, um, any other brand, they're all the same way. You have this pedal right here. The pedal could also be moved to the right, even if you want that you receive right now. If you do, you're not comfortable with the way the pedal is, you could always go to the right or to the left. Okay, that's why you see all these, you know, holes here, adjustment holes, adjustment parts to adjust. Okay, and you don't need to do anything. All right. Okay, so here we go. Can I get some fabric? Yes, I may. Here we go. That's it. Okay, I got some fabric. So far, so good. Huh? Any Wait, question? No, I'm no right question. Too. All right. This is a totally different part of sewing machine. It's the motor. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is a brushless motor. 
a speed up, you might not have this one, you might have a different type. A speed like up, like it's like that, mm -hmm. you're perfect. A speed down, a speed up, you know what I'm saying? Do not touch the P program or S, the whatever the S is for. I think, I don't know, I forgot what S stand for. Do you know what S stand for usually? <laughs> All right. No. No. Okay. P stand for program, S save. Oh. <laughs> That's it. All right. Okay. Save. On, off, has nothing to do, different item. There is a belt in here that I, many times I said how to adjust the belt. You want half an inch give when you have the belt. Okay. From both sides, when you press, you want it to give half an inch, okay? okay? Not too loose, not too, okay? Bunch of stuff you get in here, they're gonna be, again, I showed you in the drawer, okay? You wanna start sewing, knee lift up. This is the denim jeans, put it down here. And as you could see, I'm gonna start running this bobbin winder already, okay? Might be a wrong, different way, might be, it might be the other way. I, because when you sew, this thing could be filled up, okay? It stops automatically. Okay, you see that I have a noise right here, you see? Uh -huh. It's because I need to adjust the belt. But forget about that noise right here. Okay, we're gonna, see? This is making a noise, but anyways, I'm gonna just show you here. Adjustment for the stitch length. Uh, stitch length. This is this was on two. I'm gonna put it on five for you to see. And the machine again is not gonna. If it, it makes a noise like this, there is something wrong. It needs an adjustment. We just, we, I just pulled it out of the yeah. underhand of the uh, the installer. So they're not done with it. But I just wanted to show Kathy what's going on. This is if you go in sewing forward. Reverse is this one, forward, reverse, okay? Adjustment of length. If you feel like, I think this is perfect. If you wanna pull it out, if you wanna pull out this, yeah. all you have to do is push the knee, okay. knee lifter to the right. It show this, it loosens up all the mm -hmm. tensions. And then you play with this back and forth and you pull it out and you cut, right? right. But I wanna show you in the back. Perfect. Front is perfect. If you feel that you like it, let me know. I want to know if you like it or what would you do? Yeah, I, my, I. You want more tension? I would like the stitches. Oh, like this. See, that's how I, I like. My yeah. Stitches so this to is. Look. Yeah. So this is a small one. Okay. And that's this, the large. That's the number two millimeter, and this is a five millimeter. Okay. But if, but if you want it, like, hey, I want more tension. You just now remember. This is a T27 thread. This is the most common thread that people use for quilting, for garment, for manufacturing. T27, 100% polyester. This machine could do anything. T27, 40, 50, 60, 70, T105, even nylon. Okay. So when you are thicker thread, then it's gonna be, top stitch is gonna look much nicer. Okay? okay? I'm gonna start, go back. See, I gave it a little bit more tension, so it would be more. Now, I want you to sit down. Go ahead. They're mud on this, aren't What? That's the whole idea. No, she's not gonna face your face. Don't worry about it. It's gonna be only your hand and, you know. Perfect. You got it? I got that. What other question you have? Ask so me. So what if your top stitch looks really good and your bottom stitch doesn't or vice versa? Okay, so we're gonna go up. to the first question. Is the top stitch great, bottom stitch lousy, right? Yeah, the bottom okay. is okay. the top. Could be right? many reasons. The main one reason is that might be that the threads are not the same type of thread. Okay. Okay, if you usually if you make them the same type, it will be perfect. Okay. Number two your tension on the bobbin. You know the one I showed you right. on the bobbin case, adjust that. Number three, a lot of times the bobbin case is uh, not good. Like after years of using, the bobbin case needs to be changed. 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that could be one of the problems. It could be also that your machine needs, I mean, this is after many years, that your machine needs timing, meaning that the hook, the needle, when it comes down, that then it doesn't, the timing is not right. right. But usually this is after many years, but usually for on the top, the tension. That's for the bottom. But that's what I oh, told that, you about the bottom. This is top, that's bottom. Yeah, for the top, there could be two or three also. The threading, it has to be the same way that I did it. It's very important that the threading line is right. Okay. Number one. Number two, the tension has to be corrected the way you want it. Thicker fabric, less tension. And because you are right thicker. Less. Yes, lefty rudy, righty tidy. Okay? Needle. The tip of needle might be broken. The needle might not be good. You need to change the needle. That's one of the main things that could happen. Now, one more thing that I tell everybody, there is a spray, it's called silicone spray. Let me see if I have the silicone spray here. Uh, the silicone spray is a very good product to have if you're sewing, if you're quilting, or you, because it's gonna make, oh, here we go. Thank you, Antonio. It's very normal for people to go ahead and this is good, it's not gonna happen. It, it's very healthy, nothing's gonna happen okay. to you. You see this? It's a silicone spray. If you have problem sewing cotton, sewing heavy stuff, and you have problem, you just put the silicone spray on the top right here, once or twice a day, and it makes the line very nice, very easy to sew. Yeah, okay. what else? Question. You have any questions, okay. sir? I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you, she's gonna ask you, she's gonna tell you she no, forgot she a lot of stuff. That's no, it. No, I, I have a book, a, a, a little manual that has in, uh, instructions. instructions, but I was Have you watched my YouTube videos? I watched a couple, but I haven't watched I them think she all, should and start I need to. Scratch right here and no, I, I understand that, I do, honest. Then what's the yeah, good? Sure. It was very good. This is a marriage counseling uh, thing, everything. Yeah. I show you how to, I show you how to sew, you know, and all that stuff. Hey, 54 years and I haven't sewed yet. <laughs> you, how, how old are you? No, I'm he's 54 years married. For 54 yeah, so. years? Yeah. Wow, congratulations. <laughs> Beautiful, <laughs> wow, amazing. <laughs> Hey, 54 years? Yes. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Great, beautiful, I, beautiful, I, beautiful. And, and so the top is faster, the bottom on the right is slower. Mm -hmm. um, open that, okay. That's it, done? I think I am. Yeah, people are at home watching this, you oh. know. <laughs> All right. I think you got to Thank you, start. this is David from goldstartool.com. You, you go like my videos. If you have any question, call me. I'm gonna make videos that you want. Like, share, thumbs up, and have a golden day, everyone. <laughs> well, thank